Yo, mic check, one, two, one, two. Welcome back to Black Sun's World. I am Black Sun, of course. And today I'm going to be reviewing the new album from Terrace Martin and James Fauntleroy. Uh, I'm a big Terrace Martin fan. He's one of my favorite producers slash musicians. Uh, James Fauntleroy, basically since cocaine 80s man like he's been like that voice that you always want to hear you know what i'm saying like whenever i see his name featured on a song it's like yeah all more times than not i go straight to that song so you can say i'm a big james Fauntleroy's fan as well uh the album or the ep whatever you want to call it is called nova uh this one actually snuck out like i had no idea that this was coming out or that it was even out i woke up this morning and was like the hell is this so i just thought i'd just come on here and give y'all a quick review of it uh never heard it so we gonna uh go into it right now track one is called online shopping man that was the first track online shopping and uh at first i was i thought he was talking about tricking like you know spending money on a woman or something like that and uh then i started to think he was talking about online dating like i'm not sure exactly what this song is about it may be about both things i don't know I, whatever it is i gotta listen to it again i know it's some genius in there man but uh yeah track one online shopping i really like that joint uh, track two, Witchcraft, featuring Robert Glasper. Yo, real quick, man, them Robert Glasper keys, man. Like, I know when he gets busy with his fingers, son. Like, that, ah. man that was track two witchcraft featuring robert glasper uh right off the bat man that song just makes me feel good puts me in a good mood mainly because of robert glasper's piano work man i don't know if y'all fans of him are familiar with his work i suggest y'all go look him up robert glasper man he's real dope uh this song i mean this was just kind of like early favorite right now man i will go back to this but once again this is my first time listening to this so i don't have no deep dives on these songs i'm just vibing with y'all right now man uh track three butterfly effect That was track number three, Butterfly Effect. Are y'all familiar with the movie Butterfly Effect? Uh, basically, like, if you can go back in time and, like, change something and, like, you know, you go back, you change something, it affects your future. I think that's what this song is kind of about. If he can go back in time and rewrite his wrongs, like, he can maybe change, you know, his love life in a way. So I understand why that song's called Butterfly Effect. Once again, it's another one I got to go back to, man. Like, they really going in on here. Uh, track four, like it like that, featuring Chief Abjua. I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but yeah. All right, man, that was track number four, Like It Like That, featuring Chief Ajua. Um, that's a groove, man. That's a real groove. Uh, not much more I can say about that. Um, I don't know 
Chief Abdul. I don't know what his participation was. I'm I'm assuming he's a musician or somebody, but that's that's a that's a real real groove right there, man. Like I'm gonna put that in on in the car. We gonna ride later on. Uh, track number five, Chocolate for Dinner, featuring Chief Ajua once again. That was track number five, Chocolate for Dinner. Feel a little weird listening to that right here with y'all. Because I'm assuming that should be played for you and your lady late at night. Candles lit. And she's on the menu. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Chocolate for Dinner. That's basically what that is, man. You know, yeah. (laughs) There's nothing more I can say about that. Uh, Anyway, the final song on the album or EP is called Sir Font Leroy. Let's go. Is this the same instrumental from the... Alright, man. That was track six. Sir Font Leroy. Uh, (laughs) James Font Leroy had nothing to do with that. Uh, he didn't sing at all, but I guess that was more or less, you know, just some musicianship. I mean, that's what that was. Uh, so yeah, man, that was the new album from, um, Terrace Martin and James Fauntleroy called Nova. Um, what I would say about this album is there's a lot of musicianship on here. Like there's a lot of things to, you got to pay attention to, like outside of James Fauntleroy's, uh, uh, performance and, uh, Terrace Martin's production is like, Songwriting isn't, you know, top of the list when, when we, you know, thinking about albums like this. It's, uh, more or less the vibe. It's the groove. I'm a big Terrace Martin fan. I don't know if y'all heard of Dinner Party, Terrace Martin, Robert Glasper, and, uh, Ninth Wonder. Um, but yeah, this falls right in line with Terrace Martin's previous work, Dinner Party, uh, albums. Uh, I would give this, you know, if I'm gonna rate this out of 10, I would give this a good seven and a half out of 10. You know what I mean? It's a short project, six songs. Um, but yeah, songs that I'm going to go back to is Witchcraft, Online Shopping, uh, Butterfly Effect, I thought was genius, but I'm going to go back to that one uh, again as well. But uh, yeah, man, it's not only hip hop over here with me, man. I'm a big jazz fan too. I love Robert Glasper. I love Terrence Martin. I love funk music. I love jazz. I, you know what I mean? I'm in all kind of bags, you know what I mean? But let me know in the comments what y'all feel about this album. Are y'all fans of Terrace Martin or James Fauntleroy? Uh, how did y'all feel about this album? Leave a comment, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Once again, Black Sun out.